North Macedonia's coming out with a citizenship by investment program. The program will require the applicants to donate 200,000 euros to a government fund in return for citizenship and a North Macedonian passport. The time frame from submission to approval will take about three to four months. Main applicants will be able to include their spouse and children up to the age of 18 years old. The program will also have an annual uh, application quota allowing about 1,000 applicants to be approved each year. North Macedonia is not yet a member of the uh, European Union. Uh, if you're making at least 150,000 U.S. dollars a year and or you've got a net worth at least 1 million U.S., and you'd like to legally get your income taxes to zero or how to get a second passport as quick as three months, do three things. Hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen right here and you'll get new videos as they come out automatically. And don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell next to the subscription button. And number two is I'd like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com and just ask for some help, see what we can do to solve whatever issue you got there. All right, now the nation... Uh, of uh, North Macedonia signed an accession agreement with the EU back in uh, March of 2020 and it's now in the stages of negotiation with the EU. Uh, this program provides a more cost-effective option. And of course, the citizenship by investment programs in the EU from countries like Bulgaria and also uh, Malta and they require, of course, they require an investment. Uh, th those require an investment up of uh, upwards of 1 million uh, euro uh, but the visa-free travel with North Macedonia is also weaker than these other two countries. Uh, citizens of North Macedonia had visa-free or visa-free on arrival access to only 124 countries and territories ranking that passport in North Macedonia. 47th in terms of travel-free, it was tied with Montenegro. Uh, a person living in the territory of North Macedonia for a period of eight years can apply for the citizenship uh, in the Republic of North Macedonia. Uh, you know, if you want to go through the, just the regular residency by investment option and, and not go with the citizenship by investment, uh, of course, I mean, you're, I'm sure you're going to have a, you're going to have a language uh, test to deal with too on the residency by investment that you would not have with the citizenship by investment. So that that's something you know you'd have to think about there. Um, according to Article Two of the Macedonian Law, citizens of the Republic of North Macedonia can hold dual citizenship. Now, once this country, or maybe even before this country, gets the EU membership, the EU will probably force them to cancel their citizenship by investment program, just like they did with their neighbor, Montenegro, which I just did a video on. So I don't even know why they're doing this, because <laughs> the EU's come back and canceled, or made these other countries try to cancel their passports. And now this country, I don't, I don't think they see the uh, the... The, the the green on the trees yet, but uh, I think they're going to have the same problem that Nate Montenegro had because uh, they're right next door to each other. These countries, uh, I think, are going to be wasting time if they're trying to join the EU and then get uh, a citizenship by investment program going. The EU is not going to let them do it. Uh, North Ma Macedonia also taxes its residents on their worldwide income. Um, the individual tax rate is as high as 18 percent. The corporate tax rate is 10 percent. All right, I'm going to give you my evaluation of this program, and it is as follows. You know, why would you go with a program like this that uh, when you when you can go with a program like St. Kitts and not have any sort of uh, uh, taxation on worldwide income uh, if you live there? And uh, St. Kitts doesn't have any income tax inside or outside the country. This country is going to tax you, uh, uh, you know, more inside the country, and, and then they're going to tax you on your worldwide income. And the visa-free travel with St. Kitts, you get about 25 more countries you can travel to visa-free or visa-free and arrival to. So it doesn't make sense why someone would want to get this passport. And in fact, uh, I mentioned just on this uh, Montenegro video I did uh, just uh, recently, I think it was yesterday. And, uh, you know, it's um, uh, you're probably going to get if you if they join the EU, you're probably going to be taxed just based on citizenship. Um because you're a member, uh, uh, you've got citizenship with a country that's uh, uh, membership is with the EU. I would try to avoid these countries. Anybody has got membership uh, application with the EU or already in with the EU, man, I'd skip it. It's a tax trap. They're going to get you in a tax trap, and you're going to pay dearly to get out of it if you can get out of it. It's going to be a mess, and I think they're going to have this in the next five or ten years. So I would try to stay away from this. 
But uh, anyway, I wanted to bring this out to you because it is a, an option. Some people don't care about paying high taxes. If you don't, this might be a good option for you. Uh, but this is something you, you really need to think about. Anyway, if you're interested in getting your taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as two months, uh, do three things. Hit the subscribe button on the right of your screen right here, and you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. Number two is don't forget to, uh, um, if you got a question or comment, just put it below, and I'll be glad to you know see what I can do to solve whatever problem you got. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and hit that top bar that says apply with us. Fill out the questions at the bottom part. It says send it to us. We'll get back with you and see what we can do to solve whatever problem you got. We deal with a lot of citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries all over the world. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care.